Hello everyone. Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. I am Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps and you are joining me today on November 10th, 2022. And this is episode 74 of Paper Crafting Playdate. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me in my craft room. Whether you're going to watch this live today on the 10th of November or you're going to watch it down the road, uh, just know that I am so honored that you are joining me. So please say hi. Please um, leave me a comment. I love to chat. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we will um, look at what we have on our table today. All right, so let me tighten up that camera. How's that look? Almost all right. So if you are coming on live with me, definitely say hi. If you're watching this later, don't think I don't want to hear from you. Please say hi. Tell me where you're from. If you're watching for the first time, thank you so much for um, finding me. And um, I hope that you learned something today. That is always the goal. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. And we will find our comments on Facebook. So this is the first live that I've been able to have in November this year. It has been kind of a crazy bunch of months. There we go. And I don't want to hear myself twice, that's for sure. All right, look at these amazing cards. I am going to share with you some beautiful mail that I have received in the last few weeks. Look at everybody joining us. Thank you so much. Hi, Polly. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Linda. Thank you so much. All right. This is from Sharon. Sharon's watching. This is so adorable, Sharon. Thank you so much for sending me this. I love the design of this fun fold. Very, very sweet. And I love your shading, your little sponging on there. It's perfection. Thank you so much. Hi, Jana. This is from Wendy over in the United Kingdom. She sent me this Halloween card using the same stamp set. Isn't that so sweet? Say boo and scare on. Thank you, Wendy. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And this is from my friend Sherry. Sherry, if you are watching this later, thank you so much. You are so good about getting cards to me on time. And I am terrible at it. Uh, Sherry lives in Canada, and I just don't plan ahead far enough. It's really, really silly. This beautiful card is from Jill. She's using that same fun little um, stamp set. I love how she put the little glitter, yellow glimmer paper um, behind the eyes. Now, I wonder if she had yellow glimmer paper or if she colored um, the iridescent paper. Maybe she'll have to let us know. So cute, right? This is from Marilyn. She is a new, um, a new stamping friend uh, to me, and she made this for me. And I am so excited about it. Thank you, Marilyn. This was so sweet to get your precious note in the mail. I'm so glad you're back stamping. This one, look who this one's from. If anybody's been with Stampin' Up! for a while, <laughs> if you uh, look at the catalogs, if you've been a catalog, you might recognize that sign signature. But that's uh, Shelly, the CEO or the co-founder, I guess she's called, of Stampin' Stampin' Up! and she was congratulating me for reaching a milestone in my business. So nice with the butterfly. And then these, both of these cards are from um, Sue Sheets with Stampin' with Sushi. She's one of my team members. She sent me this beautiful thank you card. And then she sent me a little congratulations card. It's a, one of those tall easel cards. Isn't that so sweet? You can do this. I love it. With her message on the back. 
Oh, I'm so blessed by all that mail. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. All right, we have a fun fold today. And Sue Sheets, who I just mentioned, she did this on her um, Facebook page last week. And I, it was a new fold to me. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and do it. There she is. Sue is watching. Sue, I just showed your amazing cards. Thank you so much for this precious little easel card. I love it. And now we're going to do your, um, it's called, it actually has two names. I did a little research on Pinterest. Okay. So there's two names. One is the four panel card, which is what I'm going to call it. And then the other name is a fourfold card. So if you like to go look and look up all different um, designs when you learn a new fun fold, look for either four panel card or fourfold. All right, I think I have all my stuff out here. So I'm gonna show you two ways to, that you can pr make this card. And basically it's whether you wanna use eight and a half by 11 paper or if you wanna use 12 by 12 paper. So we're gonna do the eight and a half by 11 um, paper first. Let me see if I can just get this right in the corner where everybody can see it and it won't be in our way. All right, so this is, I should just write this on here. I'm gonna call it a four panel card. fold. We'll call it a fold. Okay, my marker is dying. So the first one that I'm going to show you is using this new um, suite of products, the Fitting Florets. I keep wanting to call it Flitting Florets, which doesn't make any sense. There's no butterflies in it. Um, and this is available right now. And then this bundle right here, that stamp set and die set will continue to be available with the next mini catalog after December. But these embellishments and the paper and this Christmas um, greeting stamp set will be only available while supplies last. Fitting florets. So let me just show you the paper. because it's really interesting. It was crafted really beautifully um, digitally. I think they showed us a video where they showed how they created these flowers um, digitally. So here's one side, you can see lots of pinks. This is the polished pink and bashful blue. And then it has um, soft succulent evening evergreen and then some pretty um, blushing bride colors. And then the opposite sides are kind of what you can use for holiday cards if you want to, but it's really, really, you know, um, subtle as far as holiday. It's really more like winter. Like I see a lot of just January, um, even some Valentine's Day colors. Like there's just a really neat color combination. So it adds in some night of navy to that bashful blue. So very, very pretty. So I thought we would do use these blues and greens and make a holiday card. Okay, I'm gonna move that for a second. Those are our goodies and get out the paper cutter. So this fold uses um, just about one whole sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. So the first thing that we're gonna do is cut it in half, just like you would for a regular card. If you were making your basic invitation size card, so that you have this first piece here that's five and a half by eight and a half. Then the second piece you need in the same color is six and a fourth by four and three fourths. So I'm gonna cut six and a fourth first. I'm gonna move my arm out so I can get the rest of the ruler here. And I'm gonna cut it at six and a fourth and then four and three fourths, this measurement right here. 
And then these two little pieces are now scraps for die cutting. All right, so both of these pieces need to be scored. So let's go back to the base, the main base. So we're going to score this at three fourths. three fourths inches first and then we're going to score at four and a quarter so basically the halfway mark on this paper just like you would if you were going to fold this and make a regular card so let's see so here's three fourths and four and a fourth all right so then we're going to turn it so that we have that three fourths up at the top just to make it easier and I'm going to measure three-fourths again but this time we're going to cut instead of scoring and we're just going to notch out this section right here up to the four and a quarter mark so I'm just looking at my cutting blade I see these lines on the side of it and I can just make them stop right when I get to the score line you can also feel it um, if you go slow. You, when you hit that score line, you'll feel it with your blade. Then what you're gonna do is cut off this piece here right on that score line. All right, so here's the first part of our four panel fold. So now we'll take this six and a fourth by four and three fourths and we just need one score line and it needs to be at two and three fourths and that's along the long edge the six and a fourth edge so we're scoring at two and three fourths and then i'm going to turn again and cut at three fourths of an inch just to this two and three fourths inch score line So it's very similar. It's just a smaller little card base. So now we get to attach these two bases together, which is gonna create those four panel folds. Okay, I am done with the paper cutter for right now. Okay, so here we go. See how these are the same size? This is gonna be in the middle. And these are gonna to attach together where that three-fourths is. So you've got one, two, three, four. Here's your four panels. Okay, super easy, really. So let's go ahead and fold and we'll burnish our folds here to get them going in the right direction. You wanna have everything fold the same way. So um, this is the back of the card. And so we're gonna fold all these things in here in the same direction. Like that. And then we're gonna fold this one this way as well. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is attach this piece here, but you're gonna do it not on that side. You're gonna do it on this side right here and then these will accordion fold. So I'm gonna use my Seal Plus. You wanna use a strong adhesive like tear tape, Seal Plus, or liquid glue so it doesn't move. And then I'm just turning this upside down here to make it a little bit easier for me to see. And I'm just gonna put that right up against that score line. So here's the fourth or three fourths of an inch little flap there and I just laid that right on there all right so there we go so now we can accordion fold this this way and rescore and this is the base of our card and it has these beautifully um layered panels. So you know you've done it right if you're um, the spaces, how do I say this? If the uh, measurement is three-fourths of an inch um, bigger on each consecutive layer, which it is.
So that's what it looks like closed and that's what it looks like open. Now this is a really, really fun um, card to make if you want to get rid of a lot of designer series paper. Um, it's a great card to do some extra decorating on because there's so many spaces. So let's take our Christmas papers from the fitting florets. So I've picked these pieces here. Now here's the DSP that sizes. So you need one piece that's gonna fit here. And I just made these a quarter of an inch smaller than the panel size. So this one's four by five and a fourth. And then there's two here. So we're gonna do like that. And then there's one here like that, okay? But the first thing we're gonna do is put on the ones that are um, gonna show to make sure we have them on straight. Show, <laughs> I can tell that it's it's an afternoon and not, it's a late afternoon and not early afternoon. We <laughs> First, we are going to put on the ones that um, we want to be exactly lined up perfectly before we worry about the inside. And it, that will um, kind of give us, I think, an understanding of the direction that the card is going here. So I'm gonna put this piece on the front. Aren't those white berries so pretty? So this piece is two and a half by two and three fourths. And then I'm gonna put a coordinating piece here. So I'm going to really focus on the greens. And then we'll put this beautiful gingham piece on the back. All right, so closed, you see all the beautiful coordinating paper. So here's where you just really wanna think about um, when it's closed like this, what pieces you put together. And I specifically um, did choose them this way and I put this uh, one in the middle here that's a little less busy so that it would have a nice break between this pattern and this pattern. Now, these all look really pretty together like this this would look nice back there too. It just just kind of depends on what you want, but I thought I was gonna just make this kind of um, more subtle. All right, now let's open it up and we'll put our other pieces on. So this one's just the other side here. We're gonna bring those blues on the inside so it'll be a nice surprise when the person opens the card. So these middle panels here Fit designer series paper that's three and a fourth by four and a half. And then this small one is again the same as the one on the front, two and a half by two and three fourths. So this will all be on a PDF that you can download later on my website, on my blog, reallyrobinstamps.com. All right, what do you think? Kind of pretty, we could just leave it like this but we won't, we'll put add some stuff on there. <laughs> okay, all right, so what I thought we would do is take the um, framed florets bundle, and then since we're making it seasonal, we'll use these amazing um, Christmas greetings. So if you don't have a good Christmas uh, greeting stamp set, I love this one because of the font, and I like that you can, uh, you can kind of marry the, the greetings together. For example, you've got um, Tis the Season to Be Jolly, and then you've got Fa La La. Um, you've got this a season be filled with peace and joy, and then the word Noel. So you kind of have really nice um, inside and outside greetings. So let's take our dies. So one of the dies 
I, I really need a bigger piece. So these are the three oval dies that you get and they kind of layer together and coordinate really beautifully. So I'm gonna use this one because this is the one that's really sized for this card and these smaller panels. And then as long as I'm cutting out, I am going to make a little um, gift card holder inside of the, um, the card. And so I'm gonna cut that out too, out of some more paper. So let's bring in our Mrs. Cut Boss. She has not been utilized lately. All right, so I'm gonna do a white oval and this will create a small white um, plain oval and then this beautiful kind of um, embossed mat so you can kind of mix and match them. Let's see if these will all fit on here. There's our ovals, isn't that pretty? And here's our gift card holder. And I've already cut out some of the other pieces that come with this die set. There's some leaves that are just nice solid layering leaves. And then there, all these pieces will cut out the different um, stamped images, but I'm not gonna do any stamping with these for this particular card. I'm just keeping it very simple. So I've kind of mixed and matched some of these ovals already. So let's just dump those all out. So here's what I was thinking on the front. We're just gonna put a nice white oval and then maybe one of these so we'll see let's do some stamping so I'm going to bring in the evening evergreen and we'll get our Christmas stamp set and we're going to do from our home to yours first I think I might have um, some smudges on my fingers. And then I cut out two of these flowers from the designer series paper. So we'll have a little pop of blue on here. And we'll put that up there like that. So let's glue it down. I'm gonna let this hang over a little bit. So I'll put adhesive on half of the oval. This just fits so perfectly right around that oval and then we'll add our flowers. Okay, so there's the front and now we can work on the inside. So I'm gonna create this gift card little pocket to go right here. 
So let's put this together so it can dry. Has anybody else purchased this um, little gift pocket? What? Let me get the right name of it. It is called Mini Pocket Envelope. And it is in the annual catalog. It's perfectly sized to fit a gift card, but it also just makes a really neat pocket if you, um, for scrapbooking, um, for little memorabilia, you could make it out of vellum or window sheets so you could kind of see um, little trinkets and things. You could make it a little shaker window and it's really easy. So you just fold these two sides in. They're already mitered from the die. And then just make sure it's lined up. Okay, we're just gonna press that in there. So that will be cute right there. And then we'll just fold it over for when the gift card goes in there. So I wanna put a little message on that. And we'll put, have yourself a merry little Christmas. So you could also put this um, gift pocket holder on one of these panels. You just have to make sure whatever you put on these inside panels will fit behind the one that closes over it, unless you want it to, to stick out. And so I'm not using any dimensionals on this project because there are so many layers to it already. I think that it's plenty. Um, and, and if you are going to mail it, um, you're already going to be kind of you know, your envelope will be thick. So you wanna make sure you add extra postage if you get um, even more dimension on there. So I have this little tag I'm gonna put Noel on. And this will decorate one of the panels. I'll put this one over here. And then my plan is to put this green oval here and then we'll put that blue or the white. Let's see, white. I think we want that pop of white. So let's stamp our other sentiment. Are you guys thinking about somebody special that would love a display card like this, whether for their birthday or for the holidays, and you know they would keep it up? As a decoration. Okay, it's coming together. Let's work on our Noel. Now I kind of want my lead, I'm gonna put some leaves by the Noel. I don't want the Noel to show, so I wanna keep it right here, but I'm gonna put some leaves behind it so that it'll pop out and you'll see it on the front. So 
we'll take one of these blue I'm really enjoying this color combination. I think it's really pretty with the both the blues and the greens together. You could even add a little pop of, of red um, somewhere and that would look I'm just gonna take that stem off because it's not gonna show. There we go. So now when I close this, I'll just see those two leaves peeking out and they'll kind of tie that blue in. All right, on this one, we're gonna use a little stitched and we're going to use another greeting from the stamp set that says, from all of us. So we're keeping with our, let's see. We're keeping our, our greetings kind of fluid here. So the, the, the card will make sense from our home to yours, from all of us. May your season be filled with peace. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And here's the little, the gift. So it's kind of like a progressive greeting, I guess. We'll put this here. So even though there's a lot of little pieces here, it this is very um, pretty simple. Okay, last but not least, let's see if we need any more leaves to to peek out here. So we've got a couple left. I think we'll put those right there. Okay, let me close the ink pad. What do you think of our four panel fold card? All those greetings, and I, there's still um, a Merry Christmas, the Fa La La, and the Tis the Season to be Jolly that I didn't use. Okay, let's open and close this a couple times. Oh, I'm very happy with that. I think that turned out nicely. I did not pre-make this one. I just kind of planned it, so I wasn't sure what would happen. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little embellishment on the front. think I just want some rhinestones I'm gonna leave it right like that. We'll just put that. Thank you. Okay, there is our four panel fun fold. Now this would be a good spot right here if you wanted to write an extra message or you could add a piece on the back 
and that would be a great place to put your message as well. So there's lots of lots of room and of course when it's displayed it sits like that so that you can just stick it right on the mantle with with the stockings, right? <laughs> okay. So I told you that we were going to um I was going to show you how to make this two different ways. So this was the way that you could make it with um, eight and a half by 11 paper. And so I'm going to show you next how to make it with 12 by 12 paper, because I know we have a lot of 12 by 12 by 12 paper laying around. So let me show you first. So I took the other pieces of designer series paper that were in that, um, pack of paper for the flitting florets paper and I did one that was more just um happy birthday kind of card I'm gonna bring this back in because you can see all the greetings in here too I think when I first saw this um stamp set you know, I saw all the flowers and they're very detailed, which isn't typically my style um, that I prefer. I don't like to color little tiny things, but the greetings in this stamp set are gorgeous. Um, again, they're the really fun, easy font with mixed um, all caps and the cursive. And then um, I think, I mean, I've been using these without having to color them. So I've been really enjoying it. Uh, more than I thought I would. So great birthday greetings. And again, I could use them um, throughout the card. And so those are all from the same, same stamp set. And again, you could write here and you could write a little bit here. How fun would that be to sit on someone's desk? And I just cut out the flowers um, that you see here from the paper, like I did on this one. And then I did a little bit of stamping on there. So let me show you what I did. I got crazy today and I did a little surgery on my stamps. So this greeting right here was one piece. Um, thank you with all my heart, which is great. And I can still use it that way because I can just plop these back together. But I decided I'd really would like to use them separately because with all my heart could be used for so many different um, things as well. And so that's what I put on the front. And then I will just have this beautiful thank you to use by itself. So I just took my scissors and because there was enough room in between, I could just kind of, um, you know, bend this a little bit and I just uh, chopped it right in half. And now I'm much more happy. So <laughs> please, feel free with your stamp sets to make them work for you and you can um you know you can make the images do what you want what you need for your stamping so i did a little surgery today and everything came out fine all right i'm going to show you another sample and then we will get with our 12 by 12 paper oh my goodness Hostess code. I didn't even talk about November. See, I, I waited two weeks to do this and now I'm all out of practice. I'm so sorry. New hostess code for November. In November. Yes, Dr. Robin. Yes. <laughs> She's only allowed to work on stamps. That's it. Um, I have three essential tools that I am adding to or giving, sending to you if you place an order of $50 or more and you use the hostess code. You can choose, look how nice I am, choose whether you want the, um, the small, small grid stamp and paper. This is really nice um, grid paper to use for your stamping, for measuring. It fits on the Stamparatus if you have that tool. It's just kind of a nice size. I always take this when I travel or if I go to um, a stamping event. It's just a nice little plate sized paper to work off of or you can pick the silicone mat and this is a tool that I always forget to get out because it came around you know after I learned how to stamp and it's hard for me to learn new things but this is 
a mat that can be used for so many different things. It, since it's silicone, it washes really well. You can see mine's kind of grungy because I've used embossing paste on it. Um, no adhesive will stick to it. So if you're going to use your hot glue gun, you can, um, you know, set the gun on here. You can make your things on here and then every all the adhesive just like wipes right off. So that's one of your choices. Or you can get the um, pierce mat, which is what I like to use when I have a photopolymer stamp. Um, it gives a nice cushion, um, especially with an image that has a lot of surface area. So those are the choices you can pick with your orders this month. And again, if you place, if you were gonna order more than $150 at one time, don't use the code. You'll still get my gift, but don't use the code because you will get Hostess dollars um, yourself. And so you wanna make sure that you grab those. Okay. So here is another sample with the Sweetest Christmas um, Suite with the little candy canes. So a little bit of stamping and you know just a, some variation so here this is just plain plain paper to do some stamping on here's you know instead of a full sheet here's a half sheet and then here's just, just a little tag so you could decorate um here but then you could write your message on the inside but it's still beautiful um, to display so there's that one And then this one is with this paper that I can't think of the name of right now, but here's an example of where you wouldn't use, uh, or you don't have to use different kinds of designer series paper. You can use the same one, the same piece, and uh, it still gives it a great effect because of these beautiful um, layers and how they're matted with the card base. So also here, I've, I've kind of peeked out some flowers um, and made just a nice little birthday card. I'm super pleased with how that turned out. I just made that this afternoon. That's gonna brighten somebody's day. Okay, as promised, let's make the next card. And we're going to use a piece of 12 by 12 fresh freesia. Now, just in case you're wondering or you don't realize, because it's not obvious, that we sell 12 by 12 paper, <laughs> it's hidden here on page 126. You um, can look at the color. This is where you can get color collection. So if you wanted a, an assorted pack of eight and a half by 11 in any of the color families, this is where you would find that. And here's the 12 by 12. You can get um, any color families. So you get two sheets of every color. In the in color package of 12 by 12, you actually get four sheets of each because there's only five colors. So that was the pack that I'm working from. And then if you want white or I always lose this. If you want white 12 by 12, it's somewhere else, not logically where I think it should be. Here it is. Nope. Here it is. Sorry. Page 140. Here's where you can get the um, 12 by 12 cardstock in white and vanilla. Okay. So if you want to use 12 by 12 to make this design, let's switch out our directions. They're just a little bit different. You're going to first cut a piece that is five and a half. So you can actually get just about two. Um, you need some extra, but you can get you can use the other half to make another card base. And then the dimension long way the length of the card is 11 and a half and so you trim off a half an inch from your 12 by 12. 
Okay. And then the other piece that you need when you use 12 by 12 is this piece two and three fourths by four. So those are gonna create the exact same card base as this. It's just that you're gonna be using 12 by 12. All right, so here are the scores. You're gonna score now at a fourth inch. You're gonna score at three and three fourths and seven and one fourth. Okay, those are those score lines right there. Then you're gonna turn it just like we did before, measure three fourths of an inch and you're gonna cut, making sure that tiny little um, quarter inch flap is at the top. You're gonna cut to the seven and fourth score line. So three fourths of an inch, so that's the same as on the other card. And then let me just bring this up so you can see. You're gonna stop right there at seven and a fourth. Okay, so you're gonna cut that off just like you did before. Now, this is mathematical magic to me, um, but I've tested it. The measurements all all work, but um, I'm so glad that there are people in this world that can figure out how all these things work and measurements, because uh, that's not me. I, I'm not good at that. I'm good at manipulating it once once somebody tells me what to do, I might be able to change it, but. Okay, so I'm gonna just score on all these. So the part that attaches that front panel um, is a little bit smaller on this one. And the reason that it is smaller is because it actually shows. So you um, attach it on the inside like that. And so when you open it, you're gonna see that little bit of a seam. So it's a little bit different than the other one. So let's put some adhesive on here. But it still works. Now I'm not gonna go all the way to the top because you saw that we're gonna have to cut off a little piece there, right? So we'll line that up. And then we just snip off the rest of this. Right on the score line. Okay. And then when you fold it all together, you get the exact same card base. So sometimes you can see this is looking a little off, um, I need to do a little bit better job cutting right on the score line there. Let's see how that looks. Much better, because you wanna have that clean line. All right, so we are gonna, this, this card is uh, for all of my purple people out there. You know who you are. This is for you and me. Love the purple. I thought it would be fun to use this um, beautiful paper from the Pretty Prints, these little like sun washed um, images come with all of these different colors, right? Linda, you're purple, you're a purple person too, yay. So let's, Do some looking here. All right, so here are my pieces. Let's move that. And then this one's gonna go on the front. So I didn't cut all designer series paper because I thought it would be nice um, to have some white um, stamping, pieces that I could stamp, stamp on out of basic white. So essentially, if you're thinking about this logically, 
um, if you were to just use, you know, one either designer series paper or cardstock or whatever, you, you could, um, you basically need five pieces to cover all the panels. You need that bigger piece, you need two that are this size, and you need two that are this size. So cardstock or um, designer series paper, it doesn't really matter. Um, it just kind of depends on, do you want to use the designer series paper? Or do you want to do some stamping? But I thought we'd do a little bit of both on this card. And so I'm going to bring those pieces in. And then just so you can see what it looks like, a lot of the samples that you see um, on Pinterest, uh, Nydia, yes, purple, I know. We're like, we're besties, aren't we? We like everything the same. Um, most of them have another layer they have a matting layer um, that goes behind the designer series paper or cardstock that you put there. And I, when I started making these cards, I just decided I didn't want an extra layer on there just because the card is already so heavy. But I wanted to show you what it would look like if you went ahead and did that because it, it is beautiful. Um, I just tend to like not like so many layers personally, so I didn't. So you have choices how you wanna cut things, of course. And so what I decided to do, instead of cutting these pieces smaller, which technically I think um, you could if you wanted to have a wider um, mat showing with your, your mat layer, then you would cut it differently. But I just cut this the same way, and then I just made these an eighth of an inch bigger than the designer series paper and it's an eighth of an inch smaller than my cardstock. I hope that makes sense. I didn't really wanna mess with these measurements because they're nice and clean for the designer series paper. So I, I just measured an eighth of an inch larger than all of these um, so that I could make that matte layer. And so we'll have that little bit of fresh freesia showing around the outside. I'm gonna do the designer series paper first. So the colors in this beautiful purple paper are Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry, Gorgeous Grape, and fresh freesia. Okay, so we're doing the, the ones that are on the front panels first, just so we can establish that. So I picked this one for the front. So I picked patterns that were different. I like that, it looks nice. All right, on these two, we're going to do some stamping. So before I mat them, let's just stamp a little bit. Um, and what I kind of was thinking, I'm going to use this Nature's Print stamp set. I see this is how I'm getting dirty here. <clears throat> and so we're going to use these greetings as well Let's get out our Blackberry Bliss. That's the darkest color. We'll stamp hello there. And then on the other one, we'll stamp the best wishes and happy thoughts. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna set those aside. And we need a little piece of scratch paper here. So let's take the fresh freesia and this beautiful leaf here. And we'll just do a little stamping. And then let's take the rich razzleberry with this other fern and we'll stamp over. Like that. And then on this piece, I like this little flower also. So let's do that one in the gorgeous grape. And then the best part of this stamp set is this little splatter stamp. So we're going to use that and I'm going to make it very light. So I'm going to stamp off once on the scratch paper and then put some of that just around as a little background. And on this one, we'll do the grape color. I'm gonna stamp that off a couple times to make it nice and light. Just wanna add a little bit more of that purple. Okay, now we can assemble the rest. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl says gorgeous. Those purples, right? They're just so rich. Okay, here's the inside. Now we just want to do a little decorating. So let's again start with the front where our hello there is going to be. And so I took some of the pieces that are in the dies that go with this Nature's Prints bundle. So I did this wreath in Rich Razzleberry and I cut out a couple more of these to layer. And then I did a whole bunch of the little viney leaves that you can do really easily because there's multiples of. So I thought it would be nice to um, have a little layering going on here under this label. So I'm gonna cut this one in half. And then we'll just separate it behind. I should have just glued one at a time. That's okay. Make sure that's straight. Isn't that pretty? Oh, we got to do a splatter on that. Let's go back to our fresh freesia. Where did you go? There we go. Okay, so again, I'm going to have this hanging off a little bit. And then we'll put some of these beautiful little... 
vines around here. Let's see, I think I like them on the bottom there. I'm gonna just have this one edge go over here. Okay, I'm done lifting that up. I'm gonna just press it down for a minute. So there's the front. Oh, SOS, SOS. I'm all inky with purple. <clears throat> Thank you. I see that we have a lot of good, uh, purple fans. It never, it never, uh, never fails to make me happy when I make a purple card. Okay. So now, so what I had planned to do is to cut apart this wreath so I could use it in a couple different places. So it's pretty easy to do. You can just take it apart like that. Let's see. So it would look really pretty to hang out over here like that. And I already just cut out a little, um, rectangle that we'll stamp a greeting on, or you can use to write. So let's put that here, and then we'll kind of tuck this in the corner. So I want it to peek out, whoops, now it's stuck, it's stuck to me. I want it to peek out when the card is closed. We had one more greeting here. Let's put this, let's do the same thing. This is what I love about Stampin' Up! Is that everything coordinates together color wise and it, it just makes everything so much easier when you're crafting because you know that your papers are going to match the inks and your pattern paper the colors are designed to go together Helps you look like a genius when you're crafting, I think. Okay, we're getting there. You guys are being so patient with my, my little fussy um, gluing here. So we'll add another greeting sentiment over here. The year on my mind, which I should have very much stamped before I put the front on there. So let's see if if this will help. There we 
there we go. Shoo. Okay, so you're on my mind, best wishes. I wanted to put, be a little something here. See how you can just kind of keep going um, and, <laughs> and add more things and make it look pretty. I didn't really think about that showing um, when I was thinking this through. So what I would do, and I'll show you an example later, is I will take another um, label and I'll just cover the back with it um, in purple so that you don't see that. So let's see, what does our message say? Hello there, you're on my mind, best wishes, happy thoughts. And then let's just make a little So I want to go back and grab that birthday from the first stamp set because it's has a very similar um, font. So I could do for a special person on a special day or wishes, best wishes and happy thoughts. Let's do for a special person on a special day. Okay, I'm going to stop there, but I think I might fiddle with it a little bit more later and just add a few more of these as long as I have them cut. I think I'll tuck one around here like that. They're so pretty. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> SOS again. I just, um, just dropped that ink pad and my finger went right into it. That's okay. It comes out, doesn't it? All right, I have two more samples to show you. And then you're going to have to think about what pack of paper you're going to use. To make your first four panel fold. Close that up for a minute. Let's look at it closed again. Cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tuck some more of those little guys on there. And then I did find these little pearls that are purple that I thought that won't be too much, right? Let's just see. This one will definitely need extra postage. That's kind of why I wanted to just show you um, when you add that extra matte layer, you really make it thicker, a lot thicker, because you're adding one, two, three, four, five extra layers on there. So um, it's, it's beautiful to have the matte layer, um, so you have to just kind of decide how thick you want it to be. All right, so here's another example, and here's some, I haven't printed the pictures yet, but this is going to... Um, go to some friends that I just spent some time with and we took a lot of pictures for fall and so um, you've got some nice opportunities to put pictures in here as well. You can print some three by four pictures for those. So this is going to be kind of a li little mini um, album with pictures when I get done with it. Isn't this lovely? And then here is another Christmas version. 
using this paper. And again, I did a little lift up tag so you could keep your message underneath and still have it um, decorated. All right, we did it, you guys. Thank you for watching today. Let's get them all back here and review. There we go. sheets. I'm so glad that you did this on your channel last week so that I could experience the joy of making the four panel card fold because it's really it's very fun. I encourage you to um, try it and uh, see what kind of layering you can get with your um, designer series paper and uh, I would love to know. So if you make one, uh, leave me a comment. Or if you are in the Robin's Really Super Stampers group, please post a picture of what you make in the group because I would love to see what you do. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a really, really good weekend. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.